Peter Aldous. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. The announcement this week of the closure of Coe's Lowestoft shop, following on from those of Beale's, Argos and Body Shop, highlights the challenges that the High Street in Lowestoft currently faces. To address these, Waveney District Council are submitting an expression of interest to the future High Street Fund, which I anticipate will be heavily oversubscribed. I acknowledge the various initiatives the Government have put forward, but can the Prime Minister assure me that a coordinated, sustained and properly resourced approach working with councils will be pursued to revitalise our town centres which are so vital to local communities and economies. Yeah. Well, first of all, my, my honourable friend makes an important point about the Im- significance of town centres for our local communities. Can I say to my honourable friend, thank you also for highlighting the work that we are doing, the help we are providing through the High- Future High Streets Fund. Of course, high streets are changing, but we want to help them in that process and help them to adapt. That's why, as he said, the Future High Streets Fund is there. It has 675 million available to support local areas. But I'd like to also reassure my honourable friend that in uh, doing this, we will be promoting partnership across the public and private sector, including local businesses, in developing those plans for the future of their high streets. Ian Blackford. (laughs) 